every year we take a vacation to an exotic place. We, we have a travel ritual. Holiday ritual. Holiday ritual. Family get together ritual. You know, you can see it's all rituals of form, repetition of things that we do to keep our relationship spiced up. Patterns. It's, it's always patterns. Patterns. And this, what we're talking about, is holding on to a purpose and really wanting to communicate. You know, really wanting to say, well, the form isn't so important. I, darling, I may not be sending you a Valentine's Day card this year, but let's sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart talk <laughs> you know, for three hours or something. You know, that would be kind of an expression or a symbol of, of moving towards wanting to really connect with the mind. And, and that could even be in terms of Valentine's Day card. A lot of people do try to really put a lot of thought in selecting something that you know, really has, says something meaningful. Well, any of that, you know, whether it's sending a Valentine card or whether it's cutting so fresh right. flowers yes. for the table, it's all a matter of what's the intention yes. for which I'm doing it. Yes. If it's a symbol of my caring and my, you know, extending, then that's one thing, you know. Yes. And if, it, if it's a way to get something, or done, yeah, out of or done out of obligation or guilt or, or thinking that it's causative in some way, that it will add to, mm -hmm. in some way, to Maybe the relationship, or, or, yeah. Yeah, then that's, that's it's something else. Again. Yeah. And it's in the intention, and I would say that, that, again, you're moving to a place of seeing that the, really the only thing you can share, and the only thing you want to share, is ideas. Mm -hmm. In other words, Jesus was not a big philanthropist. <laughs> he did not go around when the, the beggars were begging and just go, <laughs> here, some gold for you, and you know, this and that. I mean, he, he shared his ideas. He shared about his Father in Heaven. He shared about the Kingdom of Heaven and, and how to come to the Kingdom of Heaven. He wasn't big on gifts. You know, there's not a lot in the Bible about him. They talked about the three wise men bringing gold and myrrh and frankincense and this and that. But there's no, not a lot of mention of Jesus going around like Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Santa Claus is like the ego symbol mm -hmm. that it's covered over Christmas with. Because what better symbol to, of the reversal of Jesus' idea of just sharing these beautiful ideas of going around and turning it into a materialistic holiday. You know, that's Santa Claus in many respects, if you really look at it, is, is it could be a symbol of the ego of of trying to cover over this unconditional love that Jesus represents with lots of stuff, lots of forms and, and rituals. So it's really important that as you move along more and more, you can see that initially when you believe in stuff, and it may feel real comfortable, like Beverly's saying, to still, as a symbol, to give cards or cut flowers for people or do this and that. And as your mind gets clearer and clearer, and you're called on to be a teacher of God, then even those things I've found in my life start to you know, dwindle away. Mm -hmm. If I go to a birthday party, they're glad to have me there at the birthday party to be the presence and to share the ideas. They, it's gotten to the point where they aren't looking <laughs> <laughs> for the other stuff because it's not there. The presence and the ideas is, is the gift. And that's truly how you, you keep them in your mind is by giving these ideas away. It's not like I'm trailing around the country trying to enlighten bunch of other bodies, but really it's just, it's, I do it because it's my joy, that's how I keep them in my mind, is, is let them come extend. Yeah. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's how you keep, you keep something in your mind, is by giving it away. 